Hey there. How's it going? Welcome. My name's Taylor. You're at In Season Farm right now. Uh, today we're going to discuss the difference between Quonset and Gothic style greenhouses. We're going to prove my science teachers right and that they should have been giving me D's. We're going to do a quick little science experiment throughout the day, see how it goes, come up with some kind of determination from it, and probably veer off course at multiple points. I don't know if you noticed, but it's snowing. <laughs> If you saw the video from yesterday, some of us were wearing t-shirts. This is why I'm moving to California. Woo! Mm. One thing I want to be doing today is coming out here periodically to check how the greenhouse is handling the snow as it comes down. Um, this is the first snow that we've really had since we've had the plastic on. So I want to make sure it's shedding well. So let's take a step outside and we can talk about why the shape of this tunnel really helps us with snow load. This is a Gothic style hoop house. It comes to a point at the top and has steeper walls, which helps us shed our snow much easier than the Quonset style. The hope was that we could put these Quonset style bows in the field behind us right next to the main greenhouse. Let's look at a few things we need to take into consideration. Now, when it snows, all the snow will accumulate on this side of this roof and shed right to here. So if we put another structure here, too much snow in the middle and you'll start collapsing in the sidewall. What I wanna do is go in, knock some of this snow off, see what accumulates. For the next part of this scientific study, we're gonna use this stick to poke at this plastic. To be honest, I'll kind of miss the snow. I don't mind it too much. You get to make snowballs. You can throw them at yourself. Or a defenseless marshmallow. It's up to you. The second part of this scientific study is this side is what we just knocked off with the stick. This side, we're just gonna see what happens. I wanna take a look on the other side here. We can look and see how much snow actually got pushed off, and that can kind of help us determine how far apart we need to put the caterpillar tunnels. Um, and we'll just keep monitoring it throughout the day and come to some sort of conclusion. So as you can see, there's a little bit of snow down in here that you see it jutting out. It's not too bad. Uh, we'll keep looking. We'll look later this evening after it's done snowing. Yesterday, walking around, Today, snow. Farm, I might as well be getting something done. Yesterday we were using the wheelbarrow. I noticed that it was a little uh, loose. So we're gonna just go through, tighten all these bolts. So a brief background of Susie and I's start of in season and our prior experience up till now. We met at a restaurant called Lot 2 in Omaha, Nebraska. At that restaurant is where we first got the idea to start in season. To date, we have spread most of our focus primarily on vegetables and microgreens. Although last year we did produce four lambs and raised about 30 chickens. So in total, Susie and I have been farmers for four years, all of which are here in Nebraska. Now we're selling in season, moving halfway across the country to California to start up our next farm. So let's take a second to look at what this next farm looks like. Well, welcome to Big Love Ranch. We're super excited to show you this. So currently on the property, there are already five acres of olive trees and about two to three acres of wine grapes. To that, we'll be adding one acre of vegetables and microgreens, along with six to eight acres of forage, fruit, and nut trees, which not only will we harvest from, 
but our lambs, chickens, and turkeys will also get to eat after we do that harvest. There are three Airbnbs on the property, as well as a commercial kitchen, which we will host guest chefs and private events. It's nice. Um, if that plan sounds like we're a little in over our heads, well, you're probably right. All right, we're headed in to check the progress of the snow in the greenhouse. Um, by looking around, um, a lot of what we knocked down is filled back in on this side. Um, that's still slowly dripping. It looks like the ridge line is kind of clear and shedding, so that's good news. Um, all in all, I'm pretty excited with what we see. Olivia and I are going to head down, play in the snow for a little bit. bit chilly out here well this is the side that we didn't do anything to it's been shedding the snow just fine it looks like um, in comparison to the other side that we did knock the snow down pretty similar this side might even be a little worse so that's great news it means that the shape works and we're super happy with this Zimmerman high tunnel everything's worked well just like they said it would well I guess that's it um, I'm going to take off. Uh, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe below. Still got some more work to do, but we'll get it done. Until then, have a good one. Oh, you're still there. Do you think it's weird that I'm doing this in a bathroom? I don't know. Comment. Let me know. Is it weird? I hope not. Because it's not going to change.